Right, two investigations underway by two different law enforcement agencies into allegations of inappropriate conduct involving former Charleston Police Chief Tyke Hunt. The uh, latest allegation discussed at last night's city council meeting. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue was at that meeting and has details on what we know today so far about the allegations and investigations. As the number of complaints of inappropriate behavior by former Charleston Police Chief Tyke Hunt grow, both the West Virginia State Police and Charleston Police Department have officially initiated investigations into allegations against him. The latest allegation was brought up by Councilwoman Shannon Snodgrass at Monday night's city council meeting. Snodgrass says the allegation centers on Hunt engaging in inappropriate conduct with a police applicant after he gave that applicant a polygraph test. Monday night, Snodgrass said an investigation was needed because the applicant felt her polygraph was altered, since the applicant says she knew she had lied on the polygraph, but still passed the exam and therefore became a certified officer. That officer has since left the department. After the meeting Monday, WSAZ spoke with Mayor Amy Goodwin about the possibility of an investigation. She said the city had not received any allegation, but would investigate if they did. Here's the punchline. We have not received any allegation at all here in the city of Charleston. If an allegation is brought to us, we absolutely will investigate it. So Tuesday, we reached out to the city again, asking if any new allegations against Hunt had been brought to them. The city did not respond, but hours later, WSAZ received the following statement from the Charleston Police Department, reading, quote, The Charleston Police Department received a complaint last night. The Professional Standards Division will investigate. As this matter is an active investigation, we cannot comment on any details of the allegations or investigation status. WSAZ also confirmed a complaint has been made with the West Virginia State Police against Hunt Tuesday. Troopers say they have initiated an investigation into that complaint, but they can't give any other details. Snodgrass said after Monday night's meeting, the change in leadership was overdue at the Charleston Police Department. I'm hoping for the, the remaining 150 officers that we have. I respect those guys. They work hard every day. They're held to a separate standard now. I think it sets a precedent about future discipline. Hunt stepped down from his position as chief last Friday, citing medical and personal reasons. Hunt said in his resignation letter to the mayor, he will return to the Charleston Police Department as a lieutenant. All of this comes after Hunt apologized last month after he says he, quote, misused city property for a personal matter. Also last month, Charleston City Attorney Kevin Baker issued a memorandum regarding the allegations that led to Hunt's three-day unpaid suspension in April 2022 for a personal matter involving a consensual relationship that led to FBI complaints. I reached out to Hunt for comment on the recent allegation. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. This is Kim Donahue over at WSAZ. I was just calling to reach out and leave a message to see uh, if you were able to comment on any of the recent allegations. But my call went straight to voicemail. Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ, News Channel 3, Kanawha County. And Hunt, has, uh, as of now, has not returned Kimberly's calls. Uh, the interim police chief, Scott Dempsey, was named to the post on Friday. Now, we, of course, will keep you updated on the outcome of the investigations by the state police and Charleston police into Hunt as soon as they make that information available. So